Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be talking about my round 11 AFL tips and predictions. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. So the first one we have is North Melbourne versus Richmond at Marvel Stadium. North Melbourne season obviously hasn't been the greatest and now their coaches obviously, they pretty much come to a mutual agreement to part ways and yeah, their coach is definitely going to be an interesting candidate to coach other teams for the 2020 season like potentially Colton. But, yeah, that's not what I'm here to talk about today. I'm going to be talking about my tips. And I think that North Melbourne versus Richmond, I don't think North Melbourne really have much to, you know, play for. I think their top eight chances are pretty much gone. And, as I said, their coach isn't there anymore. And it was their coach's last game. I think that's why it really urged them and pushed them to play their best footy. But, I just can't really see them winning this game. I mean, Richmond have been one of the best teams this year. And, I think once Richmond got all those injuries and in after round three when they were like, what, 14th on the leaderboard or something, I think there was a couple people out there that were definitely riding them off. And as a Tiger supporter, I definitely didn't see it that way. And wow, the young players that Richmond have been able to gather and, you know, bring into the team and the team system has been absolutely awesome for them. Noah Bolter, Sydney Stack, um, who else? You got uh, Liam Baker, Shea Bolton. Those are just four players to... Um, name a couple, and there's a couple others like, you know, Jack Ross, who got unfortunately injured, but there's five very young and talented players, especially Noah Bolter. How good has he been? He's just getting better and better every single week, and yeah, Richmond definitely have a bright future with a couple of their young players, but yeah, I just can't see Richmond losing this game, and I think North Melbourne are definitely going to, you know, have a big year for 20, you know, the 2019 free agency because there's going to be a couple of players shopped around, obviously. And, yeah, they're definitely going to need a new coach, which John Wellsfold could be that new coach. But I'm not too sure. But, yeah, I can't really see Richmond losing this game. But, anyway, the next one we're going to go on is Fremantle versus Collingwood. Obviously, Fremantle got that really awesome win where I think it was Michael Walters kicked the point to win it for the game. It hit the post, obviously. And Fremantle are now in eighth position, but... Fremantle would absolutely love to get this win against Collingwood. Now, this game is actually at um, it is actually at the MCG. Sorry that I had the two um, mixed up. I actually just couldn't get a good picture for it. But, yeah, I think Fremantle, they've got the momentum. And they're actually playing quite decent. But, I mean, so do Collingwood. They're 8-2 right now. And I think Collingwood just definitely want to keep that grind and potentially get themselves into first place in the next couple of weeks and knock Geelong off. But, yeah, because this is at the MCG, I think Fremantle's run is probably going to come to an end. And I think Collingwood is going to break that. And I think, yeah, I do expect Collingwood to win this game. But if Fremantle really want to show that they're a contender this year and that, you know, they want to fight for this top eight position or even climb themselves up the le um, leaderboard to potentially get themselves into, you know, you know, like a top four position, I think they definitely need to get the win here. And this is... Definitely a game they should be really trying um, to pretty much win. But anyway, the next one we have is GWS versus Gold Coast. I'm still, you know, really happy with what Gold Coast have actually been able to accomplish this year. I think it definitely is a really underrated accomplishment because their only percentage off being in 14th position, and although that might not sound good, think about it like this. People, there were some people who didn't even have them winning a game this year. I always thought those people were a bit silly, and I always kind of thought that Carlton were the worst team in the AFL, but people just consistently bagged Gold Coast and wanted them to be the worst team in the AFL, and it's been really awesome to see that they've actually defined those people and have actually won three games. So I've, as a, you know, AFL fan, I think Gold Coast have done very good this year, and I, you know, I just... I'm glad they have because there are a lot of people that didn't want them to be in the AFL. And I kind of think they've been screwed over a little bit with all their players leaving them. And yeah, I was kind of hoping they did, they did, um, you know, they would do good this season. And if you think about it, you compare the other teams like North Melbourne, Sydney and Melbourne who are on the same wins as them. And you tell me who's had the more successful season. You'd obviously say Gold Coast because Sydney, Melbourne and North Melbourne all wanted to make the eight this year. While Gold Coast just wanted to show a steady you know, a steady year with their youngsters. So, I'm really happy with Gold Coast. But anyway, GWS, though, in saying that, GWS are also 7-3 and three in the top four at the moment. And, yeah, I just don't know. This is at, I believe, G um, Giant Stadium. And you just, you just wouldn't think that Giants would lose this game. I mean, I expect them to come out and get even more of a percentage booster and maybe 
even increase herself on the leaderboard as a top four spot. So I really think that that's probably what's going to happen here. So sorry to the one or so Gold Coast fans that watch my video, but yeah, I just don't think that you guys will be getting the win here. And I do believe that JWS will be getting the win comfortably. Anyway, the next one we have is Geelong versus Sydney. Now, I think this is actually a risky game because even though Sydney have had a shocking of a season, they've actually done quite well in the past couple of games, even nearly getting the win over Collingwood. And sure, Collingwood had injuries, but they did look pretty good. But, you know, I just don't know. It is, is that GMHBA, so Geelong are pretty good there. But, I mean, I think it's going to be a close game. I actually genuinely think that Sydney are actually going to come out there and show you know, what they can do, that they want it, They want their coach to stay, they don't want their coach to leave the North Melbourne, they want him to stay, and all this type of stuff, so I believe that they, they will give it their fair, you know, their best shot, but I just think Geelong will be too strong, I just can't really see Geelong losing this game, and I mean, it's at GMHBA, if it was at the SCG, I still wouldn't think that Sydney would get the win, as Sydney are, you know, not the best team at home, but who really knows? Maybe Sydney could get the win here, but I will be tipping Geelong. Anyway, the next one we have is Brisbane versus Hawthorne. Now, this is usually... I think a lot of people go, oh, Hawthorne have been the best team out of the two in the past two to three years. But what people don't actually realize is Brisbane have a phenomenal record against um, Hawthorne since Luke Hodge joined and have actually won their last two matches against Hawthorne and one of them actually being in... um. Tasmania, which I actually think they broke Hawthorne's, like, what was it, 15 win, 20 win streak in Tasmania or something like that, so, yeah, I think that that will continue on that, this is out the Gabba, obviously, and I do believe that Brisbane will be too good, and, yeah, I just can't really see Hawthorne getting the win here, but, you know, Brisbane obviously want to get back into that top four, which I don't even know if they can do because of their percentage, but Hawthorne, I think that they have more on the line because, if they lose this, they could be getting sent back to like 11th or something and like a win or two away from actually being into the top eight. So very risky game if, Hawth if Hawthorne were to lose this one. But yeah, I just think Brisbane will be a little bit too strong for Hawthorne at the Gabba. Anyway, the next one we have is Melbourne versus Adelaide. And, you know, I think the last time this was actually played, I'm pretty sure Melbourne smashed them by like 60 points or something like that, like last year. But this is obviously a different Melbourne side and a different Adelaide say, um, side. Adelaide obviously want to make the 8 this year, which I still think is a little bit questionable. I'm not too sure if they will be able to do it. While Melbourne, they just want to prove to their fans that this season hasn't been a total disaster, which, let's be honest, it probably has. And I mean, I know a Melbourne fan. Actually, my best friend is a Melbourne fan, and he is definitely not happy with Melbourne, and he definitely does not like to talk about Melbourne this year, as, you know, if I was a Richmond fan, and we were, like, 16th position, I definitely wouldn't want to talk about Richmond either, so, he's got a point, and I mean, all Melbourne fans should definitely be sad, and, yeah, it's just not a good look for the football club, and I think we'll dent their chances on getting free agents, but who really knows, it seems that people are actually tipping that Adelaide will win this game, look, I don't know. This is I usually have a game every single week where I, I don't really know who's going to win. So this is going to be that game. And yeah, I'm just going to throw it up to whoever's better on the day. I really need to see um, the team announcements before I actually make my decision on this one. But yeah, so I definitely would really like to know who you guys think is going to win this one. So definitely leave a comment in the comment section down below. What team do you guys think will win? Anyway, the next one that we have is St. Kilda versus Port Adelaide. Possibly the most pointless game of the year, in my opinion. This is actually the um, China game, I believe. And, yeah, I'm not a fan of this at all. I believe there are different countries they would, should have um, tried AFL in. I mean, I don't think the, you know, the Chinese people really actually care about AFL that much. I mean, you look at the attendance of you know, the games up there, and it's really not that high, and I think there are a couple of, you know, countries that would have been a better fit, because, you know, obviously New Zealand, in my, in my opinion, is one of them, I've actually been to New Zealand now, and I know that there are actually a couple people up there that don't really like AFL, but they actually do watch it, because, you know, they do find it interesting sometimes, and there's nothing on TV, they'll just watch it, and there were a couple people like that down there, so I think that would be an interesting country, and the other country is Ireland, obviously Ireland, they have a couple of players now that are in the AFL who 
are really, really good and have been given this shot and they all seem to have taken it. And yeah, I think Ireland would be another good country to have it. And even America, I think America would also be a good country to have the AFL game. But, you know, just anywhere but China, they don't seem to really care. And, you know, I can't blame them. They seem to have their sports that they like. I think they like baseball and basketball. And, you know, there are a couple countries that I think could definitely fit in AFL. And I just don't think China will really ever like it. I'm not too sure. But, yeah, I just think New Zealand, Ireland, and even America could would be a better country to have, you know, the game. So, I don't really know. But that's just my mini rant right there. Anyway, St. Kilda versus Port Adelaide. This is also one of them games I have no idea and I don't really care about. This has been probably the game I don't care about. And, yeah, I just don't know. I think that it will definitely be thrown up to the, you know, it's going to be a coin flip. Now, if I had to say who's going to win, I'd probably say Port Adelaide. They definitely got the better list. But who really knows? St. Kilda haven't, haven't obviously played up in China yet. While Port Adelaide, I think, will play two games there. And this will be, like, their third. So I do expect Port Adelaide to get the win. But, you know, it really is anyone's fair game. But, yeah, I would definitely like to, you know, hear your thoughts and opinions on what, you know, what country do you guys actually think the AFL should take, um, you know, their game to? I definitely think Ireland, New Zealand, and America are obviously definitely countries I could see it being in. Anyway, the next one we have is Essendon versus Carlton. Obviously, both teams are coming off pretty disappointing losses. I mean, Carlton just lost a game they could have possibly won, while Essendon... Pretty much got thrashed by Richmond, but we were able to make a comeback when Richmond sort of stopped caring in the last quarter. So, I do believe, you know, there were still both bad losses for each team, but I just can't see, you know, Carlton actually winning this game. I think Essendon should get the win here and get it quite comfortably. But, yeah, I'm not too sure. I mean, both teams have been pretty disappointing so far in 2019, especially Essendon. I expected a little bit better from them. But, yeah, anyway, the next one we have is West Coast. Versus the Western Bulldogs. Obviously, Western Bulldogs are still on that grind to make the A. I don't believe they will be able to do it because, you know, they're currently 13th right now. I do believe that this is still another year of rebuilding and maybe potentially next as well until they can get an, a couple more free agents and some plays through the draft. But I do believe West Coast will win this one just based on the fact that, you know, it is at Opta Stadium, which gives me, I feel like, a more... More hope in West Coast to win this game. But, yeah, that's what, what I personally think. i definitely like to hear your guys' thoughts and opinions on it in the link. Um, I mean, sorry, in the comment section down below. i definitely like really like to know who you guys think is going to win out of Melbourne and Adelaide. And, obviously, what do you guys think about the China game? Or do you guys think it should be played in a different country? So, yeah, don't, for don't forget to um, leave a like and subscribe to the channel for all the latest AFL content. Don't forget to subscribe to my gaming channel and my IRL slash vlog channel. Link in the description down below. And also, as I said, don't forget to comment your thoughts and opinions on who do you think is going to win, Adelaide or Melbourne? Or what are your thoughts and opinions on a game being in China? Or what other countries would you like it to be in? And yes, yeah, so make sure you guys leave a like, subscribe and comment. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.